Good evening and welcome to the Town of Douglas Planning Board meeting for Thursday, October 12th, 2023. Time is 7.07 p.m. First item on the agenda are the A&Rs, 107 U Street. Someone here on behalf of the applicant? Yes. Okay, come on down to the table. You can come. So in your packet we have the, or maybe we just have it, Jake and I. So standard split of one property into two. Yes. Both lots conform to zoning requirements for lot size and legal frontage. U Street is maintained public way. Plans meet all the requirements under our subdivision regulations. Recommend endorsement. Everyone have a chance to review the plan submitted? Pretty forward, pretty forward. Matt's already looked at it all. Yep, that's what that was his feedback yep. when I just read. I'll make a motion to endorse A and R for 107 U Street. Motion made by Mr. Swicker, second by Mr. Sokar. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Right. And oh. Jen makes on the. Oh, oh, Miss Schlesman. Oh. Okay, thank you. All right. We're all set. Okay. Yep. We're going to sign that tonight. Okay. You have your mylars and the copies. Let's see what's here. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll endorse these four plans. This is paper. This is mine. Okay. Yep. Okay. You're good. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night. Okay. <laughs> and for the record, Ms. Schleschman is joining us remote. So the next A and R three ten Northwest Main Street. This is a transfer of land to eliminate the need for an easement and to provide street frontage to a previously non conforming lot. The lot remains non-conforming, but a variance was granted by the ZBA to allow this a &R to be presented to the planning board. And its book and page is cited on the plan. Northwest Main Street is maintained public way. The plans conform with our subdivision regulations. I recommend endorsement. That is from Mr. Benoit. So uh, is anyone here on behalf of this? Dave Blaine from Lake oh. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Yes, thank you. Do you have any questions? Um, I don't know that I, I can answer, but I'm going to try. Okay, perfect. I uh, think the only thing was the ZBA approval. Let me just take a peek at my notes. And I think we're all set. Uh, signature of second property owner received. And then we've got the variants. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to eliminate an easement, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, board, it's your pleasure. Pleasure is to endorse the a and for 310 Northwest Main Street. Second. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker, second by Mr. Preston. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. We'll sign these tonight. Okay, let me get my Four, three. notification. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Have a good night. Yeah, this form doesn't say anything about oh, 310. Okay. 7 p.m. public hearings. Time is now 7:11. David and Jennifer Briggs, application for accessory apartment special permit. In accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 48, the Town of Douglas Accessory Apartment Zoning Bylaw, Section 3.3 .3 and 9.3, .3, the Douglas Planning Board is holding a public hearing on the application for David and Jennifer Briggs regarding an accessory apartment special permit. Property location is 92 Martin Road, Assessor's Map 190, Parcel 20, Douglas Mass. The public hearing is being held on Thursday, October 12th at 7 p.m. in the Douglas Municipal Center Resource Room, 29 Depot Street, Douglas Mass. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at the time and place designated. Visit douglas-ma.gov. 
For the agenda and Zoom information, a copy of the application is available for review during regular business hours in the Douglas Community Development Department, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass, 01516. And welcome. Name and address, please. Uh, David Briggs, uh, I'm the wife of Jennifer. Uh, right now we live at... Uh, Right now. Where do we live? 59 Linden. Where are you? Linden. Yes. For that? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> like I froze. Okay. So much pressure. <laughs> the pressure, yes. That's okay. All right. And uh, Mr. Benoit, this application confirms with the standards of our accessory apartment guidelines. I recommend granting the special permit with standard conditions. So everyone had a chance to review the application. Certified Butters list. 892. I'll entertain a motion to issue the special permit for 92 Martin Road accessory apartment. So moved. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyone in the public have any comments, questions regarding this hearing? Seeing none. Thanks. So moved. Uh, did someone make the motion to issue the special permit? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Oh, excuse me. Open and close it. Okay. And motion made by Mr. Zwicker, seconded by Mr. Schultzberg. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Okay. Aye. And I'll entertain a motion to issue it. Mike had it earlier. Let me hear it one more time. So moved. Oh. Motion made by Mr. Greco. I'll second. Second by Mr. Zwicker. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. Two minutes. And if we could just take a peek at any meeting minutes yeah, that we need. Is it real? Is that a real thing? Like you, the meeting is it a minutes? real thing? <laughs> Do the is minutes. It a real I thing? think they're new. <laughs> open the public I've seen them. Okay. As far as I know. I looked at them. Um, I'm sure there's a couple errors, but uh, I would just probably make a note that Ernie Marks absent as a excused. Okay. All right. Awesome. I haven't been able to read the whole thing yet, but you know, it's just... Mm -hmm. Okay, ready board. Next item on the agenda, public hearing 392 Northeast Main Street LLC application for special permit map 141 parcel 44. Motion open. Oh. Let me read it. Name of applicant, 392 Northeast Main Street, date and time of public hearing, October 12th, 7.15 p.m. Subject matter, applicant is requesting approval from the Douglas Planning Board pursuant to the Douglas Zoning Bylaws, Section 9.3 and Section 5.1.7, special permit for relief of Section 5.1.5, additional parking st standard subsection number three location. Project description, applicant would would like to seek relief to allow existing parking dimensions to remain with new construction layout, which is currently up to the existing property line. This would allow the required 24-foot turning area between opposing parking spaces. Project site and location, 
392 Northeast Main Street, Assessor's Map 141, Parcel 44. Place of public hearing, Douglas Municipal Center, Resource Room 29 Depot Street, Douglas. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at the time and place designated. Visit douglas-ma.gov for the agenda and Zoom information. A copy of the application is available for review during regular business hours in the Douglas Community Development Department, 29 Depot Street, Douglas. Motion open. Motion Second. made by Mr. Schultz, very seconded by Mr. Zwicker. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, in your packet we have the plans. I think we were aware that this was coming in. Mr. Benoit's feedback is he has no issues with the application. This is a formality to coincide with the site plan approval granted by the board August 24th, 2023. The applicant has previously requested a waiver of this provision, but a special permit is the proper mechanism. I recommend granting the special permit with standard conditions. Board after reviewing. See the sun? There we go. Mm. Right, building. That's our mm -hmm. building commission report. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Really any board members have any comments or questions for the applicant? Anyone in the audience have any comments or questions regarding this filing? Seeing none. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Motion made by Second. Mr. Zwicker, seconded by Mr. Sokra. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to issue the special permit. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Preston. Second. Second by Mr. Greco. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> So let's so let's skip down to the additional business meeting schedule. My only conflict is the week including July 24th. Unfortunately, we missed the boat for switching to Tuesday meetings in 2024. <coughs> I suggest we review the meeting schedule for 2025 in January or February to better, have a better chance. What's that? Um, so Samari took Tuesdays. Who did? Someone. Um. So I'm not really sure how we would have missed that. It's <laughs> just October. <coughs> but um, that was our day previously. Question. So, what? Yes. Talking about the uh, calendar for uh, 2024. There was talk of trying to move that back to Tuesdays. Yes. We've been denied. Yeah. It's been denied. Why, Someone else took this room. Why? What's taking place that it can't be moved? There's no explanation. I'm not sure. I know the selectmen have Tuesdays, but I thought we were off a week with them. I mean, we can always uh, request from Mr. Benoit, who's there. Or does that mean we've got to go to the small room in order to do Tuesdays? Probably. Yeah, but the small room. Is there other I'm just not sure if it's every single Tuesday. I'm not sure. We want to make a decision on this at the next meeting? Yeah. Yeah, why could it be alternate Tuesdays with these other folks? I mean, they're not, no one ever needs air. Well, that would be changing the whole schedule of the planning board for the second and fourth Tuesday to a different. Yeah. Whatever, first and third, I don't know. I'm just for the first what eleven years it's been on Tuesdays. Right. Oh, it was always on the Tuesday night. Sneaky sneaks. That was quite a while ago now. And also I'll have to look at on which June and July it June, July and August, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We normally only do one, he gave us two to choose from. I'll acquiesce, but it'll be good. So. Well, we could suggest if the Wednesday's open. Right. That's fine. Doesn't matter. 
or if we can go in the other room. I'm not, I'm just not sure what the reasoning is. I could try to right. get, get the calendar. But yeah, let's table that to the next meeting. And get some more detail. Yeah. Do we, yeah, do we agree that we prefer this room? If we could. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I, mean, I think it's more comfortable. We didn't know no different until we first got it. Right. You know? We were about, what, 12 years in the other room? Well, 11 well, years. The, the other room yeah. was. Right. But then COVID hit and all that other stuff. So. Well, that's the only reason why it changed. <clears throat> we like our digs now. Huh? We like our digs. I, I <laughs> so we'll just wait till Mr. Benoit gets yeah, back. Right. And. Master plan committee letter circulated to town departments. The board could, if preferred, vote to establish the subcommittee to be named the master plan review committee or similar by way of vote. The board can also choose its delegate by way of a nomination. We have not received responses from other boards, commissions as of yet. So I know Conservation Commission just had that on their agenda for this Monday. So we haven't discussed that. Uh, what's that on here? Oh. So, board, do we want to motion to establish the subcommittee at this time? Sure, we can have a motion to establish one. Yep, it's going to be, um, so I'd like a vote to establish the subcommittee master plan review committee. So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker, second by Mr. Preston. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Do we also want to appoint a delegate from the planning board to be on the committee? Do we need to appoint? We need to vote or choose its delegate. For the chair, by way of a more than one delegate? Yes, by way of nomination, yes. Okay. Yeah. Are, are, do you have an interest in becoming <laughs> another delegate? I do. Oh, nice. interesting, okay. Yeah. I, I suppose I can open nominations for the delegate for the newly established master plan review committee. You going to go on it again? I'd like to. Yeah. I mean, I'd like okay. to be involved in it, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got no problem with that. Anyone else? I mean, we could do a group nomination. Almost like the sign committee we had, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Four. yeah. I think it was four of us on that. Yeah. One. Yeah. Worked out. I mean, this is a big deal. Yeah. So I'd like to see, i like to work through the process. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, so I will entertain yeah. nominations from the planning board for delegates. And you want to nominate Ms. Schlesman? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, make a motion to nominate Ms. Schlesman, Mr. Zwicker, and Mr. Preston. Okay, any other nominations? Okay. Um, do I hear a second? Second. Okay, Mr. Schultzberg's first, and Mr. Sokrat second. All those in favor? Aye, aye. aye. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you all. <laughs> I'm sure we'll Can't I wait. As yeah. it gets going, to I'm see sure what I'll get involved. Should in be I regret again. this. I don't know, but the sign one was pretty good. That one lasted what three months? I think that was about three months. Was it? Was it? It was in the summertime. Yeah, it was the whole think. summer and into the fall, and then we presented. Yeah. Okay, for Fall Town. Yeah. Yeah. One minor item. Uh, we mm -hmm. did find a copy. We had to dig a bit. We found a copy of the original comprehensive master plan. Mm -hmm. And Jen was able to scan that. And she did. It's over 300 pages. She, just, she did it like in a few hours. Yeah. She just blew through it. They created a PDF file, so you should be getting that. Oh, Wonderful. Soon. What year was that again? Uh, 1998. That's, that was the first original and nothing since then? Yeah, they did the study and then they created the master plan and then there was the master plan implementation committee and they went for about five years or so. And they did a great job. You know, a lot of times those things are created that collects dust on a shelf. But these guys went through it, worked it, and uh, implemented most everything that was recommended in the map. Wonderful. They, they haven't set up no times or dates or nothing yet. They're waiting to see how, how this goes down first. Uh, Mr. Menarek, do you have something for us? Is it Blackstone Logistics Center memo? 
Uh, I'm here for that, but I'm also cute to go forward. Okay. Would you like to come and talk with us? You've got four minutes <laughs> to save the world. <laughs> you can do it. I can make it real quick. Yeah, you can do it. Economic development. I'm asking the board if they would entertain uh, extending the concrete four hours inside cubes at Gaboa. You've extended it previously to four o'clock with a setup of three because of the wet conditions inside. Uh, four days of rain last week, they've got uh, suction pumps inside. They need to start these pours about midnight. And the bigger pours, they're finishing late in the evening as it is now. So. Noise is not a problem. I witnessed the concrete trucks inside. There's just no noise inside. Yeah. They're all upside down. So what is your request to extend the, the early floor, pour? Concrete pours to starting at midnight. 12 p.m.? 12 p.m. To? Well, they, well that'd be 12 a.m. They're allowed. Zero, zero, yeah. zero, zero. A.m. Yeah. Uh, it's allowed what, 7 a.m.? Right now, it's from 7 a.m. onward, 7 to so. 6 p.m. But we extended that. Yeah, you extended that. To, you brought that to 4. Now we need to start at midnight. And so. the deadline for that waiver was the end so of October? It was October 31st. Okay. So. If I may mm -hmm. question. So it was we're currently at to what? 7 to 4? 4. 4 a.m. to 10 p.m., I believe, 6, but I think the concrete was extended a little further in case they have to finish the slab. It's just not setting up. 24 inside. hours a day. <laughs> well, they would go 24 hours a day if you granted it. Well, what's the well they can't. they got to check for it. They're supposed to be checking for it. Well, one pour is it's taking that long to set yeah. up because of the wet subsoil. Yeah. I mean, they get vacuum pumps preparing the slabs, right? The slab yeah. Three. No, I know. It's all in poly anyway, right? That's <clears throat> set up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where's all the concrete coming from? Dauphin Inn. Across, Across the street. The street. Yeah. So why doesn't Dauphin Inn ask for hours of extension? Well, because know. it's the project applicant. It's yeah, the it's owner. Okay. The yeah, but they have hours of operation at the concrete plant, don't they? Is this including we're allowing the concrete plant? Open. Oh, that's interesting. I believe that at 24 7. Uh, during, I think, during emergency times, maybe. Yeah. On holidays. Good point, though. Very good point. So uh, we'll check into that. But, so, so this, yeah, I mean, you guys got to get concrete. I, I think you just it is do. What it is. I, I would I, entertain I, a you're 20. Inside, you're inside, yeah. the roof. Yeah, I, would do 20. I entertain a motion. You need to do what you need to do. 24 to hour. Do you need to extend the uh, expiration date as well? Seeing now, it's the t probably to mid November. I take it to our next meeting. Okay, November 15th. That way, there doesn't stop in between and they have no means of getting to us. So, let's entertain a motion to uh, open the hours to 24 hours a day till November 15th, 2023. For concrete work. For concrete work yeah. only. In, that would inside concrete. Inside parking. Inside, inside concrete only, not outside. Yeah. Flat work. And that would allow, in case something came up, it's flat work. Uh, we'd have a meeting. That way, there we don't give you a date in between meetings, because then if you still need to keep going, there's no way of. Can't do it. Our next meeting is November 9th. Yeah, so by going to that date. Yeah, November 15th. 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this will go beyond the next meeting. And right. any more? Well, you come in. Well, you'll know by the next meeting. We should know a good idea. Is, is a good idea. If they don't know by then, then time to get a new engineer. They can't figure that out. You need a motion? Yes. Chrissy, I'll add to team. Did, did Matt have any notes on this? Do we know? No. And to our knowledge, there haven't been any complaints? No. There's been no noise complaints? If yeah. So you're getting to no. Yeah. Because there was a, the some erosion everything. issues in the beginning. Because they're using the bridge now. Everything and some, the bridge. And some truck <laughs> complaints. <laughs> With the concrete pieces for the bridge. Oh, well, <laughs> those are the wall panels. Yeah, the Speaking wall panels. The sound, yes, that, that's done. The, but that's uh, yeah, that's hey, so all that I'm aware of. That'd be good. That's they uh, get the roof up. The roof is almost complete. Never mind the problem. It's not watertight yet. Yep. 
But it, of course, it's your <coughs> steel stuff because you get your. Well, your structure steel stuff is just steel the stuff. insulation and the, right. the membrane. Yeah, okay. And they should be done by October 20th. Very exciting. Weather tight by the 20th. Okay. And what's the deadline? I'm sorry, through the chair. What's the deadline that the concrete has to be poured and done? And there is no deadline. It's just before the first done. frost or tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to worry about They're behind. That. Yesterday. Is it yeah. heated inside? No, it's not heated. It's not weather tight. That's the oh. that's part of the issue. Once it's weather tight, you just add it in another month to the project. And you could put out it as into now you're inside. And the heat alone from the concrete. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand a motion to extend the hours of operation for concrete. Indoors. Indoors. That's so 24 hours. By, yeah. Sorry. To 24 hours to November 15th. Yes. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Second. Seconded by Mr. Socrat. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. You got one more thing? No, I'm not. I'm just. For the Blackstone the Logistics Blackstone Center memo. You're discussing that. I'm just here to witness. So, letter from Attorney Broder regarding a new tenant at Scannell Warehouse correspondence shows the new tenant will have less traffic impact than original projections. I believe it would be wise to coordinate a response with Oxbridge and Sutton. So, I suggest I suggest to the board ask to reach ask Mr. Benoit to reach out to both towns to see if a peer review of the data is necessary, or if one of their engineers would share its filings with Douglas. So since the tenant is going to have less traffic impacts, maybe we request Mr. Benoit to reach out to either Sutton or Uxbridge town engineer to share the findings with Douglas on the, the traffic that's been submitted. Yeah. So, Mr. Benoit is asking for a motion for the board or a consensus for the board to request him to ask for that information. I mean, less traffic impact is absolutely <coughs> better. Problem is, what they rent out the rest of the warehouse, then they rent back to you 100 percent. Later on, right now there's one tenant. There could always be two tenants. I don't even know anything about this tenant. I don't have. Um, do we have an additional we know now? memo? No, I think that we, as a board, should request Mr. Benoit to reach out to the other town engineers to gather as much information and then right. report back to us. I mean, I understand what's going on. Somebody's coming in, renting partial of the warehouse, which is done all the time. But I'll, then you also see someone will come in and pick up the other space to do something else. Yeah, just to and gather the information. So now you're right back to you 100 percent. Right. So it's one of those deals where why do this and somebody gets the other half and you're right back where you were to begin with. Yeah. Half mm -hmm. as much but twice as much. I see it all the time, warehouses. I mean just because and it's also just says correspondence shows the new tent. Just where's the correspondence? I would I have yeah, there's yeah. nothing yeah, there's nothing here. It's right here. Is there? So it's uh, from October tenth. So I believe there were conditions that required the owner to uh, I believe there was a yeah the trip information in in our conditions in our decision for follow-up actions at this stage. So let's think about what we had for conditions, which were the improvements, I think, at North and Gilboa. Yeah, why don't we, like, through the chair, mm -hmm. put it, like you said, to our team, you know, to Matt, have him talk to the other planners <coughs> and engineers. Let's get this together, because it's above our kind of pay grade without having to know any numbers or who the tenant are, I mean, we can't. Let, let just gather what you said. Is get gather the information. I I think it's pretty vague here right now. It is. But yeah, I think the decision had some hefty post development mm -hmm. 
traffic standards. Well, we had, right, we had post and then we had, what is it, running. So that's what they're trying to skirt around with this right. tenant. So. so I don't know if that will or won't happen. Uh, just saying less doesn't mean it's less. You know, but it's what it is. The confirmation that there is a tenant and what their traffic plans are going forward. Just I think we need more information. Yeah. Like I know in the Sutton Industrial Park, there's warehouses that were empty. Well, now there's like three or four different people in them. So just because there's only a third now or whatever, it doesn't mean it's not going to be full in six months. Okay. So let's just get the information. Yeah, I, and they. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yes, Tracy, if I could. Um, I didn't go through this in a comprehensive way. Um, has there been any discussion regarding not traffic going in not 146, which is by design, that's ideal. What scares me is the trucks wanting to come through the bullet town. Right, so there's... You know, Route 16, these giant trucks, big mm -hmm. heavy trucks. Mm -hmm. it, it scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. the, living on 16, car Yeah, mm -hmm. same. And you're very close yes. too. Yeah. yeah, so we had in the decision specific conditions and I think that's what this correspondence is about trying to not do those additional mitigation measures for traffic and specifically the flow and the traffic pattern through Main Street okay. it was was the issue and monitoring additional post development monitoring mm -hmm. so I think we have to be very careful because it's triggering the new tenant is triggering mm -hmm. an action, and that's what they're they're trying to figure out. So, I think we direct Mr. Benoit to gather all the information we can from the other two towns and uh, to present to us what what the situation is and what they're trying to uh, not do out of that decision. Do we need a directive or is it <clears throat> yeah, I think a motion would be nice. So motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Second. Second by Mr. Schultzberg. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. And I'll, I'll have a conversation with Mr. Benoit. <clears throat> yeah. Just so that we can get all the information we need because I think that they're, that's what they're trying to prove to us that they don't need the additional traffic mitigation well, measures not only because. That, if we recall back in the day on this, you know, the, about the bridge and all that, trying to get all the traffic not to go beyond 146. Contentious. And right. all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was, there was a lot more involved than just a paragraph. But that was huge discussion between all three towns. Mm -hmm. Huge. And I'm sure they're going to have some opinions as well. And we did do that collaboratively, yes. so we need to... Make sure we're all on the same page. Yeah. Yep, because I think our decisions are almost identical, that we adopted each other's decision. The only thing that was different with us is uh, the idea of getting to Route 16 crossing the bridge. Mm -hmm. That was the big deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We need time. All right. Mr. Manarek, anything else? No, you know as much as I do on okay. that. Okay. Um, oh, thanks for coming in. Curious what their planning boards say too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Everybody needs to be on okay. the same page. Thanks Thank you. you. Good thanks. luck. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Time is now 7.40 p.m. Next item on the agenda, public hearing continued pine, sand, and stone application for earth removal special permit, or no, earth removal permit and special permit. Uh, we have in our folder request to continue. So, I will entertain a motion. So uh, motion made by Mr. Second. Socrat, second by Mr. Preston to continue to October 26th, 2023 at 7 p.m. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Thank you. And meeting minutes? Oh, we're going to hold off. Yeah, we're going to hold off. Oh, okay. All right. Anything else, board? Make a motion to adjourn? Um, hold on one second. Attorney yeah. Tallerman? Good evening. He is here. Hello. Hi. Did Just you? Just been listening. Okay. Good. Great job. <laughs> Thank you very much. You sure? Appreciate your time with us tonight. Did you want to add always, anything? Always, yeah, always happy to do it. Always happy to check in. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. And anyone else? Um, hey, Attorney I'm Lane? Sorry. Are you also? Oh, you're just wait. waiting. For that. I don't think I'm going to be able to release it to you. When can we get it? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, my apologies.
Hmm? As go through the board. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, Monday. Oh, because the town hall's closed. Yes, town hall's closed tomorrow. Well, my clients are not going to be happy. Uh, my apologies. Sorry. I. I, I don't have. <laughs> yep. I'm. My apologies. Um, if it can be available, I will have somebody let you know. But I can't release it directly. Um, Mr. Benoit did not give me any. He's uh, not in tomorrow. Uh, let me see. He did not recommend anything for me to release tonight. So my apologies, but. Uh, sometimes he does special arrangements, so. Uh, I'm sure I'll watch this meeting. And <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, I would just reach out and see if um, uh, Jen Kuchar is available and she can help you out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will entertain a motion. So moved. To, to adjourn. Motion made by Mr. Schultz. Second. Second by Mr. Greco. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. <clears throat>